Good evening and thanks for watching the Eyewitness News. I'm Mike McDaniel. It has been a nice weekend so far with tons of festivals in the area. Capasa Fest kicked off this morning in Metairie celebrating Hispanic heritage with plenty of good music and good food. Our Sam Winstrom takes us to the park for a taste. It's easy to see why K-Pasa Fest draws such a big crowd. All about the food, yeah, it's so good, I love it. Maybe the music and the food. I like the weather, everything. Since its humble beginnings in 2011, the festival celebrating New Orleans' Hispanic culture has grown into a weekend-long event, featuring food and music from countries all over Latin America. We have 16 different foods from different Latin American countries showing the best of their culinary specialties. And some of those specialties you'll only find at K-Pasa Fest. We got the arepas, it's very famous in Venezuela. We got the what they call the shredded meat. We have also the reina pepiada, it's chicken with mayonnaise and avocado and onion. Mark Vizi isn't a professional chef. But every year, he sets up at Que Pasa Fest to share his Venezuelan culture and his arepas. This is the only festival that I do in the whole entire year. I don't do any other festival because I'm really, I'm, I'm a contractor. I'm not a, but uh, everybody thinks that I have a, a restaurant somewhere. Cooking at Que Pasa Fest reminds Mark of living in Venezuela, where he says you can find arepas on every corner. And this weekend, he gets to celebrate that culture and share it with his friends and neighbors. If somebody really wants to try Venezuelan food, they're welcome to come to Que Pasa Fest. Yeah, it's the only way they're gonna find it. And he's just one of the people that makes Que Pasa Fest and New Orleans' Hispanic community so special. Sam Winstrom, Eyewitness News.